In this series of video tutorials, we'll be going through detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to bridge MetaTrader and external programming languages such as Python, C++, C Sharp, and Java. We've divided the tutorials into four main sections, and these include dependencies, video tutorials on installation, configuration, and example usage of all components that are required for this implementation. In terms of dependencies, you'll need the DWX Zero MQ Connector open source project, which is available through github.com forward slash DarwinX forward slash DWX Zero MQ Connector. And herein we've compiled all dependencies as well as example source code that enables you to implement this particular project in Python. The actual bridge component that is part of MetaTrader is available and can be accessible through any programming language that supports one of the dependencies in this project called Zero MQ, and we'll get to that shortly. As regards MetaTrader in this implementation, project components for MetaTrader 4 are currently available on GitHub. However, those for version 5 are currently under testing and will be released in due course. In terms of programming languages, one of the components of this project, which is ZeroMQ, a messaging framework that enables socket IO communication through various different messaging patterns. Programming languages that currently have bindings for the ZeroMQ framework include Python, C++, Java, and several others, including C, Ruby, Go, Node.js, Erlang, F Sharp, Haskell, Perl, Rust, PHP, and a fair number more. If you'd like to view the list of all supported bindings for ZeroMQ, please visit wiki.zeromq.org forward slash bindings colon underscore start. And here you'll find an exhaustive list of all bindings currently available for different programming languages uh, for ZeroMQ. We've put together a list for Python, C++, and Java in this particular tutorial, but you can, of course, view all the dependencies for other programming languages by visiting the bindings page we showed you earlier. For Python, dependencies include PyZMQ. For C++, you'll need one of the following, CppZMQ, ZMQPP, AZMQ, or CZMQPP. And if you're using Java, then you need JROMQ, JZMQ, or JCZMQ. It is advised that if you are using a language other than Python for this implementation, that you go through the specifics of each library mentioned here or others that you found in order to ascertain your particular requirements and whether that library is suitable for use with this particular implementation of bridging MetaTrader 4 and your environment. In terms of installation, we'll talk about basics such as how to install MetaTrader and the underlying dependency components. These include libzmq, mqlzmq, and of course the DWX ZeroMQ connector bridge project from GitHub. For this series of tutorials, we'll be covering implementation on the external programming language side, specifically in Python. And for Python, we'll go through setting up dedicated Conda environments and ensuring that the PyZMQ dependency is satisfied. We'll then move on to configuration, where we'll talk about how to configure the Python side of the application, running the example Python client that's been provided to you as part of the DWX ZeroMQ connector project, as well as installing the MetaTrader component of the project, which is an expert advisor that enables communication via ZeroMQ with external programming languages from MetaTrader. And here we'll talk about the particular inputs parameters to the expert advisor that you need to have in place and configure as per your requirements in order for the bridge to be complete. And finally, we'll take you through some YouTube tutorials that we've covered in the past where example usage, such as building entire trading strategies using this bridging framework, uh, have been uh, conducted. And uh, there are several other resources, several other tutorials in that playlist that give you additional information about the implementation on a more granular, lower level. Let's now move on to the next video where we'll go through dependencies in a bit more detail. As always, if you enjoyed this presentation, please do consider sharing it with your social networks, colleagues, coworkers, and friends. And do subscribe to the DarwinX YouTube channel so you remain up to date with all future videos that will be released in this series and other topics discussed on DarwinX. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time.